everyone! Um, so we're back with another build video. This is my second one. Um, so I decided I'm going to make a little coffee shop in Newcrest. And this will be probably the last, uh, I don't want to say build. It's gonna be like the last, like, what is it? Shopping, not shopping, but like whatever these are called. Um, builds because the rest I want to keep for like housing plots for like later on in the game and whatnot. I just got rid of the little tiny <laughs> home starter. Um, it is no longer a tiny home. It is gone. It is going to be a little coffee cupcake bakery shop. Um, I'm basing it off of a coffee shop that's very close to my house that I absolutely love. So let's get, let's see. Let's do a cafe. And can we do, let's see, let's do, let's go ahead and do this stuff real quick. Peace and quiet. And I think we could also do, 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 do. can we do juice bar? Where's that up? That's only alcoholic drinks. Hmm. Let's do welcoming. And then let's do a live-in cafe. So this is a live-in cafe. Um, so meaning when you buy this, you can live in it. Um, it's a mod I have. It's so nice. I haven't used it yet. Um, eventually I want to do a playthrough where I do a live-in vet office. But, all right, let's get right into it.
And here it is. The little coffee shop. Living coffee shop. What do we what name do we give this? I'm not really sure what name to give it. It's cute. It's a little modern. I love it. We got hold on. We're gonna start from the top. Live in. So here is the little house. It's a two bedroom. One adult bedroom, one kid bedroom, and then the kitchen with the cupcake machine. I figured we'd go with the cupcake machine because this is a live-in cafe and, you know, we need, we need cupcakes. But yeah, just a pretty, you know, just your atypical living room. Nothing too crazy other than we forgot a rug. Oh god. You guys. How can you ever forgive me? There we go. We'll just go with that one. It's pretty crazy. You know, whatever. But yeah, I mean, so nice living room, nice entryway. Um, we have the stairs outside. When I was doing this, I completely forgot to incorporate stairs on the inside. But honestly, this kind of works out better. I, I really like this. I really, really do. Um, let's see, kitchen. We got the little hallway area. Um, because the bedrooms are so small. I didn't have to make them that small, but I decided I was going to make them that small because... I don't know. I really like this. I really, really like this roof. And I was like, there's really no reason for me to, like, get rid of these roofs just to make the live-in bigger. You know what I mean? Um, and plus, it just it gives the, the house itself or the building itself a more dimension. So, yeah, we got the adult room. It's not very decorated, but I did that on purpose. Because, um, I mean, think about it. There's a lot of kid stuff. This mom or dad, whoever, doesn't matter, is definitely single parent. That's what I'm going for. That's the story. That's probably who's going to move in. <laughs> but, um, tiny, tiny bathroom. I did not mean for the bathroom to be this tiny. But that's okay. It is what it is. It's like a little friggin', I don't know like closet bathroom and then we got the kids room i love this i love the alligator that's on a mod pack a cc pack and i really do love this open wardrobe and then of course my typical you know sectioned off laundry room you gotta have the laundry room but yeah we got some cat stuff in here because why not every cafe has got to have a cat right and then just your wild like outdoor I didn't know where to put the cat box. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Cat box goes outside with a little scratching post and a little kitty bed. I mean, the cat's got plenty of stuff. But I love this little live-in. Um, I'm not one to, like, clutter a house. I like less is better. Less is better for me, in my opinion. I don't know. Move that a little bit over. There we go. Oh yeah. So there's the living. It's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty neat, pretty neat. Alright, and now the cafe. The cafe, I am very happy about this cafe. Um we have the bathrooms, both male and female bathrooms, because why not? Duh. And this little like tea station. I figured we needed like a tea station because like double coffee station and i was like what about tea what about tea i want a tea station and then little quarter tables i just on a whim i was like we need a fireplace and i was like but i just don't want like a fireplace in the middle of a room and not be a little snazzy so we did like this uplifted floor and you know this black brick i really like it the walls are gray not white like our last build that we did um, cause I was like, this, it needs to be a little bit moody. It's a little dark. It's really nice. It complements all the colors in here. And I love these. I love these hanging plants and this exposed wood. I made this boss with the umbrellas bigger and little vacuum situation. And then this over here, these sitting areas. I am obsessed with these windows. I don't use these windows often in like normal builds, but I'm obsessed with these windows. More hanging plants. I love this wallpaper. Once again, CC content. Um, 
I just, I really do. I really like them. Like, look at that. You can like, see, like, the little keys in it. I don't know. It's just so cute. And then, let's go outside. So, we have, like, this little outdoor area. Just, like, you know, chilling and sitting. The stairs that go up into the living. And then, like, outdoor, just, like, chill. Ah. And then bathrooms. Female. Gotta have the boxes of pads. And then male mouthwash. Um <laughs> and then our entryway. You saw that I was trying to like put that giant ass fountain. And then I was like, you know what? This doesn't look right. But I was gonna go with it because I was like, I didn't want this center piece to be so empty. But then I found these plants and I was like, yes, to die for. And then the garden, once again, I was trying to match with what was out here. Um, some of this is from the romance, like these plants right here. The, what are these? Uh, don't ask me to pronounce that. But, um, yeah. And then, like, these bushes. Because I just didn't want to, like, individually put plants in. But, like, more of these. See, I still find this kind of weird how it just, like, these bushes are just sectioned off. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. But, alright. We gotta think of a name. I'm gonna call it... Ready Way Cafe. Boom. And then for some reason, the lots, the lot traits and challenges didn't save. So we went with Chef's Kitchen just for like the pastries and stuff. Peace and quiet because, you know, um, cafe. And then we went with Homey because that helps with our mixology, helps with the gardening, helps with the cooking. And then lot challenge is obviously the live in cafe. So yeah, there we have it, guys. We have this lovely, 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 lovely. Hold on, guys. I swear I know how to do this. Oh yeah, here we go. We have ready way cafe. Boom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye bye.